The collision mechanical and transportation industries used to be separate, but they're now blending together. What does that mean for collision repairs? We're gonna find out next. With some of the technology being developed in autonomous vehicles, we will see the collision mechanical and transportation industries start to overlap. As the future of vehicles communicating and working together on the roadway becomes a reality, the crossover may be closer than we think. ADAS features are currently a big part of why the mechanical repair and collision repair industries are crossing over more and more. We all know that a vehicle with ADAS systems involved in a collision will more than likely require calibrations. Mechanical repairs may have the same considerations. As vehicles become old enough to be out of warranty, mechanical shops will see more and more repairs associated with these features, and the same equipment and training will be needed by both industries. Both the collision repair and mechanical repair industries are learning about changes in vehicle electronics on the go. A collision obviously brings a vehicle to the body shop. Everything else brings it to a mechanic. For those of you who have both collision and mechanical repair services, you're already aware of the blending of information and procedures as well as equipment. Changes to a vehicle suspension and ride height are as critical to ADAS operation as structural repairs in a collision. Legacy systems such as ABS, stability control, and wheel speed sensors are all part of the systems that ADAS features are built upon and incorporated into their functions. Alignments and brake pads, as well as tire size, among other things, affect all ADAS components. A DTC that designates a transmission issue may produce more DTCs in the ADAS components as the vehicle's speed is incorporated into the ADAS functions. This DTC may prevent a vehicle from being able to undergo an ADAS calibration. Along with faulty ground, worn and destroyed wiring from use, and the wonderful effects that time and miles have on wires and circuits will bring these vehicles to mechanics. The diagnostic technician who can troubleshoot and understands electronics is now becoming a critical piece to all repairs in both the collision and mechanical segments. For mechanical repairs, examples of operations that will affect ADAS features include alignment, repair, or replacement of components that affect thrust angle, alignment, repair, or replacement of any parts that will change the vehicle's ride height, brake service that may require specific parts, like brake pads or calipers, to ensure ADAS emergency automatic braking requirements are met. Servicing ABS and traction control. Removing, loosening, or disconnecting any radar or sensor module that may be necessary to service another part, such as the AC or cooling system. Adding any performance feature that may change the vehicle's ride height or angle to the roadway. For example, suspension, body lifts, and ground effects. Components that will interfere with radar in front of the vehicle, like push bars or lights. Custom wheels and tires. What happens when a vehicle is modified? What happens when you put bigger tires or a suspension kit in the vehicle? The point is that many mechanical operations affect the ADAS systems as much as any collision damage might. ADAS is affecting the glass industry too. The removal of the camera from its bracket on the glass or the changing of the focal lens or windshield necessitates a calibration to be sure the cameras are aligned correctly and see correctly. The blending of collision and mechanical services by body shops is becoming more common in the industry. But for many collision shops, space, along with money for equipment and training to do mechanical, is not an option. However, there are services and tools out there that can help you keep that work in-house. I'm Jason Stahl. Thanks for watching.